Hey y'all, it's Tom Smith. We are in the thicket of New Brunswick on a black bear hunt. It was amazing, um, memorable experience. I would do it all over again. That introduction was sweet. I wanted to bring the hype. I mean, that was the excitement of going over into Canada, going through all the provinces. We drove all the way there. That's the whole point. Um, you know, and then we're gonna jump right into the third day. And what I wanted everyone to feel is the true emotion. It was a third day. I didn't see one black bear. There was nothing. Um, you're kind of feeling down, although you had five days, but you're not seeing one. There's not one on the ground. Everyone else is. So I'm going to take you right into it, and um, we'll get this thing going. All right, hey y'all. We're uh, day three. Bear hunt. Waking up, finally blocked down in the river. A cup of Joe, um, which is the beautiful. Beautiful river. Total God's country right here. Remarkable. Thankful. Uh, and that's what we gotta be, you know. But you know we are thankful and we feel pretty good for today. Talked on a new spot. The bears are hitting hard. Looking to bring some food home. Uh, you know, we just uh put an offer on our first house and we did it, so Fingers crossed, very good meant to be, meant to be, but it'd be nice to have some, some good stock freezer to start off with the house, you know, you start with the turkey, so it'd be great to come back with bear meat, keep it going, you know, uh, live off the land, so here's to, here's to day three. All right, from there you can see, I mean, New Brunswick is beautiful, went down to that riverside just to kind of, I guess you'd say, what do they say, namaste. Um, you know, therapy, you hear that river flowing through. Um, it's amazing. Everyone needs a break once in a while. So going into it, I heard the odds are pretty good against a black bear. But regardless, you're up in just trees outdoor. It's fresh air. You got the river. It's beautiful. Um, so it's great to reflect on a lot of things. And I think that's what we all remember that the hunts are all about. Um, so that was the third day. But now I'm going to take you into, I was going into day one and, um, you know, it's first time on the crown land up there. It's, you, you get dropped off to your spot and it's just you unless you have a camera guy and, um, foreign land, knew you're on the ground. I was first time blackberry hunting for me. Some guys are on the tree stand. I was on the ground blind. So, um, you know, you become one with nature and you're super in tuned and, Going into the first day, I'm expecting from Michigan, whitetail, um, you know, here, listening here for signs. So it was unknown to me and excitement was just boiling up and just couldn't wait. All right, hey, hey y'all. We are out at the road right now, just waiting for the ride to pick us up. Um, bear hunt, day one. Um, no bears. I thought I heard some ruffling, but nothing came out. So we got dust out, and uh, we just made our way back at, back down the trail from down that way. Yeah, we're not good at showing you, but so yeah, you can stand by the marker and uh, wait for your ride. So we'll. Uh, Wait for that, see what everyone else, uh, how everyone else did for the first day, and um, we'll uh, be back for day two. So after day one, there was nothing. I've heard a couple of guys are getting black bears on the ground, a lot of guys are seeing passing up. Um, you know, going into day two, I thought, okay, we're, we're going to get something. Because before all this, talking to the guide, talking to Nick. Um, and his crew, they said, you're gonna see bears the first two days. By second day, we'll put one on the ground. And we're going to second day two, and I didn't know what was gonna happen, and it was kind of getting uh, in the dumps a little bit, to be honest. And you, you can, okay, it's gonna happen, and you know, you can possibly go for a second one. Um, but you didn't know. And here we are, day two. Um, and uh, we'll see see the recap. I want you to feel that emotion again and uh, try to share the experience. Hey, 
everyone. We're back. Day two, new guns and bear hunt. Um, they hit the barrels already. We get out here. Oh, it's warmer. It's probably about 65. So apparently we were a lot more yesterday. It was really windy and cold. Um, the folks have a good feeling about the day. We have a good feeling. Uh, I hope we get it done today. I want to get my head back. I'll get some bear meat. But you got to see my fresh. There's still meat on the log so you might have got some meat wind coming in. Uh, you know we get out here probably about two thirty. So still plenty of time. Um, let me see how it goes. Okay now we hit day three. Um set in the same spot they didn't move me and you know the those guys live up there. Nick's been up there for a while. You know special shout out thanks to Nick and his crew for making this this hunt possible. Um, you know, I want to quickly say when you get an opportunity to take a hunt, do it. Um, if it's feasible, a lot of times, a lot of these hunts are feasible. You know, it comes down to money or time off. If you really look at what you're spending, you can make it happen or, you know, you can plan a year out, but don't pass up an opportunity. And I was glad I was able to make it happen because I got to meet a lot of great guys. I didn't know anybody going into it other than talking to Nick on the phone. Um, so it created a lot of friendships and um you know hopefully some some future hunts where i'm gonna see these guys again so again never take an opportunity and miss out on it so we hop into day three this is where the magic happens um i'm getting down but still feeling optimistic and what i found out later was i was placed in a unit that wasn't there wasn't as many black bears um, but the black bears are much larger. And, um, you know, they they had said that when you see the black bear reach up in the barrel, that's a shooter, was well, you're going to see this, this black bear never had a chance. Um, and it had no desire. It was a good-sized boar, and it wasn't looking for, for food. And um, so it, it was it was exciting. And... I never heard it come in. As you know, as mentioned before, I was expecting, you know, whitetail woods you're here crushing or trees, you know, getting brushed up against. I didn't hear anything it was silent. So later on, that was kind of like, oh my God, how many black bears around you? You just never saw them, but they were close by. So that was new and um, it's a truly a great experience. So here you go. Well, we had one come in, I had a shot, it was turning away, and you get this podcast where it's like they can hear the arrow coming at them, right at the second, I mean the arrow buried into him about good eight inches or so, but he broke it off and, and he went running through the, the brush, and uh, I don't know where... Definitely not gonna go in tonight. It's getting dark. Uh, doesn't look like it, but it's gonna settle in really quick. Another 10, 15 minutes. And, um, he took his arm and he, like hunkered down like he tried to jump it. So I don't know if I caught his shoulder. He brought his shoulder back pretty far. He's a big bear. And uh, but when I shot, he, he buckled up, you know, 
just buckle up like I hit them good. But there wasn't any blood right away. So I'm hoping that it doesn't rain tonight. There's some clouds coming in. Praying, 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 no rain. We're praying that we got the bear and his harvest. The bear's not wounded. Um, came in, big old bear. We're hoping, one, two, three. You know. Hoping, hoping. So we'll see. But it was cool. It was exciting. Got it all on camera. Um, so hopefully it's... It's a hit. Um, you don't want some bear meat, so I, I, I do hope it stays cool down enough. Sorry, I thought I had a tick or something maybe in my head. Um, it's cool enough to where it's still good, but he he, frick, he freaking moaned and grunted when I hit him and took off. And you know, all of a sudden, you know, I heard a bunch of six breaking and cracking, so I don't know if he went down right there. 50 yards or so, but it's really dark forest, and the um, guide went and picked up the other guy, so it's something I don't really want to go back in there by myself. Um, you know, you gotta be safe, injured bear, and uh, even though he's a black bear, so we'll see. My lord, what you think about that, Tom? Big ass bear, man. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Stellar, bro. Good deal, brother. That's a lot. They don't bleed a whole lot. Huh? So they don't bleed a whole lot until they get up to the end. And that was awesome. The shot was perfect. Um, my equipment performed how it should. You know, I practiced, went up there. We threw the Zeus on. Um, you know, Nick just came out with that, and um, it, it did exactly how it was supposed to do. And caught the top of the heart, went right into the Cedar Swamp. And I, cell phone service was horrible up there, so I wasn't able to get a, in contact with the guide quick enough before dark. So, you know, we waited till morning just to ensure that the bear did go down. You don't want to go in there with, you know, without a guide. and a backup means of in case the bear is still still open and uh, alive so he that was just safety but i mean you heard it in the beginning in, in the introduction i never got that buck fever or that adrenaline rush the adrenaline rush actually did come but it was in the form of oh my god i held my breath i didn't realize i was holding my breath but it was the coolest thing and the coolest experience and it was there was no staging um I caught the the film and the second shot off a of GoPro and my cell phone. I said, you know, I didn't have a camera crew or, you know, camera and stuff. I said, if it's going to happen, if I get lucky, cool. And I did. Uh, you know, the bear came right in, drew back, let it go. And, you know, the, that was that was history. And um, it was a, a true great experience. Um, and I plan to do it again. I recommend anybody try it. And if you've never had black bear meat, it, it's great. Mix it with, um, you know, some, some good, either some bacon or some, you know, pork fat, something to give it some some consistency. And you know, you hear, make sure you just cook it through. Um, we, I just grind mine up in a burger. It tastes good. Makes great chili. Everyone who's tried it, they're like, this is the best burger, best chili ever. So, outside of the experience, you get food for the table. Um, you know, we have the, the skull that's getting all cleaned up. And then we have um, the the mount. We did a three-quarter mount that you'll see some pictures too. So super fun. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed it and could feel that experience. Um, a blast. Again, I'm hoping this, this coming year we get the opportunity to go up there again. Um, if not, plan for the future because you do get the option to shoot two bears. Um, if I would have got one in the first day or two i probably would have went for the second one at the time but one was good it was fun and um a, a lasting memory so thanks again for, for tuning in and um until next time y'all enjoy it and uh wait for the next video